guys welcome back to this channel and if it's new to this channel please support this channel by subscribing by the way if it's your first time to come across the channel consider subscribing support this channel well we are looking at the latest updates around and we are looking at what is actually happening in this gulf country where we have the fifa world cup qatar 2022 remember i promise to give you all the updates that whatever will be happening I'll always, I'll promise to update you whatever is going on. Well, the latest information that we have, or well, the latest updates we have around is that we are talking about the Visti Visa and the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. What does it mean? The Minister of Interior or the Government of Qatar suspends all the Visti Visa in Qatar starting 1st November. And what does it mean at this time? It means that they will not be allowed or you will not be allowed to have entry into the country. Unless when you have what you call an higher card. Remember, for you to watch a match in one of these stadiums, having applied for what you call the ticket, the match ticket, you need to apply for what you call the higher card. I know most of the people are coming outside Qatar, that are coming out of the country. So they definitely need to have what you call an higher card. Apart from the, the match ticket, uh, you need to have that higher card to give you permission to access the stadium. Because it, it will contain all your details. So according to the latest information, all visit visas are suspended, temporarily suspended until further notice. And this is actually... It's actually telling us or showing us it's just going to be within the duration of the FIFA World Cup. Remember earlier on I made a video and I was telling you there was a time where it reached that the visas will be blocked and only people with the higher cards or people with the match tickets, international fans, they will only be permitted to come into the country and that is exactly what has happened right now. So meaning that starting the 1st November 2022, you will not be accessing or they will not be approving what you call the visa visa we are looking at uh, camp we are looking at countries that can have the visa visas on arrival in qatar here then we are looking at those people that can also apply for the visa yes they are temporarily suspended and you will not have that visa at individual remember this came as a as one of the regulations that is going to to try to govern what you call the entry and exit into the country during the tournament for the safe and the security of people inside the country, people watching, coming to watch the matches, and even the residents and the citizens in the country. What does it mean to you as a person? Definitely, that you'll have to wait, you'll have to hold on until you'll have to hold on until December twenty third. That is when you have to hold on. Because remember, the last day of the match, the last day of the FIFA World Cup match, that is the final game, will be played on 18th December. And it is the same date that will be the national date for, for Qatar, the Independence Day. So, meaning that after the match, you can apply for the visa to come because they expect that most of the people would have gone back to your country and this is at one way or the other. So, meaning that, all the visas are now suspended. You will not be having a visa approved to you to come into Qatar. However, when we are looking at some categories that we are out of this suspension, we are looking at the citizens. If you are a Qatari citizen, you have a national, you have a resident permit ID, you will be permitted to move into the country, make exit and, and make entry into the country. But still, provided you follow what you call the COVID-19 precautions and the travel guidelines that are being put into place. Then another category that will be permitted to come into the country are what we call the GCC residents. If you are coming to if you are coming from any of one of the races of the GCC, you will be permitted to come into the country. You will be permitted to make entry. But remember, you still also have to possess what we call a valid ID at one or third. Then still we look at the residents. We look at the residents that are living in Qatar. One, one of the requirements still you need to understand that you need to have what you call a valid residence permit ID. It should be valid for you to access the entry. And to avoid what you call the inconveniences 
or the being inconvenienced at the immigration department. Then also another group that was out of the suspension according to, to the authorities or the Minister of Interior is what we call the humanitarian cases where they have to, 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 to have either food or for emergencies but remember still much as they also out of the suspension they also need to have what you call an approval on what you call an application or platform for them to access so anyone that is wishing to look for anyone that is one looking for a visa right now in Qatar uh, brother and sister you better need to hold on at one way or the other in one way uh, at the self so because to avoid going into what you call any extra expenses in one way. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's Minx from the next question. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, please support this channel by subscribing to this channel. See you again in the next